We're talking about current rates of production, say, using coal, in which the uh, cost of, uh, that's passed on to the distribution is mm. less than 5 pesos. Okay. That's including already depreciation and other costs as mm. well as fuel this costs. This is the pass-through cost. Now. Yes. Mm. Uh, and we're talking about uh, costs that are being proposed at 18 pesos, 1790 something. So yes. you're talking about not a few percentages more. No. We are talking multiples 300, more. 300% more. 300%, 300 400% mm. mm. of the cost without really knowing or nailing down the cost yet. Mm -hmm. So why do we think that the Philippines is going to be a developer and has a significant <laughs> effect on the cost? Mm -hmm. We believe the Department of Energy and our energy policy should focus on uh, stable uh, base load, uh, okay. enough reserve demand, mm -hmm. and trying to work out a program for lowering the cost. Mm -hmm. We have heard more about trying to support renewable energy than lowering the cost. What is the strategy for lowering the cost? No, what is the strategy? Uh, right now we have to stop raising the cost right now we <laughs> <laughs> that's st step number one okay. actually <laughs> even at the current cost where we are already the highest in Asia yeah. there are several four or five or more applications for in further increases in rates that's aside true. from this yes. mm. that's true so okay. we are going to be even higher yeah solar be used we think that solar should be used in certain instances, as we say, right, where access might be okay. a problem. But uh, to, to connect it to the grid. On, on the grid, right now, the current rates of uh, drop in cost of solar generation is between 10 to 20 percent a year. That means if we just hold on for five to six years, chances are it will reach parity even at current uh, production levels. Mm. So why should we hurry up on that? Don't we have other priorities to use for our mm -hmm. money of uh, estimated to be 8 or 9 billion a year in terms of support okay. to this industry? However, when we say that, uh, will other sources of uh, power be sufficient or okay. will it cover in terms of cost? We should look at the terms <laughs> under which this is being proposed. It is incredible if you know the terms that under which these, uh, <laughs> these renewable energy uh, costings and pricings are being proposed. Mm. We are going to give a guaranteed 18% rate of return. Yeah. What business after tax, mm. no VAT, no income tax, mm. no importation tax. Where do you get a business like that for 20 years guaranteed total cost? Where Not do you get a business like that? Well, I'm gonna no. Nowhere are you going to find a business like this. Mm. And so with all of this and you guarantee it on the total cost, you know, where do you find a business like this? So we are not subsidizing even development. We're subsidizing the profits of a yeah. few particular projects. Mm. Mm. Because if we're talking about supply, at 18%, even if you drop it to 10, 12%, uh, 10, 12% uh, guaranteed, it's already very attractive internationally. So very. Ibabala lang yung feed-in tariff to make it If we have to do it, yeah. We should at least lower it, but actually, even then, the cost is still a multiple. Right. Mm. Yeah. Why should we not wait a few years? But of course, we're talking about particular things like solar, but it will come. The time will come. Mm. But there are other kinds of energy that uh, are, in terms of, you know, area by area, project by project, okay. are viable or should be mm. uh, promoted. Now we've run out of time, but uh, you know, I actually want to hear whether the Foundation for Economic Freedom. Uh, is going to step up uh, at least its uh, advocacy against the use of you know solar power oh yeah definitely and uh, you know, just before Siguro we close just mm. want to emphasize that one of the things that uh, really takes us here is that uh, this this is for us a clearly a rate setting exercise meaning to say there should be full uh, there should be publication and full public hearing mm. uh, unfortunately this is now under rulemaking mm. which you know just do it like a public